Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cidic Alex, the guy who just cannot possibly get a CTP of Rage. However, I did get plenty of CTPs of regeneration. And so with that being said, I decided why not take the dive now while we have the time, while we have, of course, the resources and see just how good this faded CTP of regeneration is. It's got the guard break immunity. It's got the recovery. It's got the maximum HP, and it's got the HP shield that cannot be um, canceled, reflected, pierced, or I mean, it can be reflected, but it can't be canceled, pierced, or any negated of any in, in any way. It can't be stripped or anything. So how how good is this CTP in PvP? And of course, I also want to answer: Can Deadpool still kick it with the big boys in PVE? Because that is the that is almost the bigger question. I had to strip his almost perfect CTP of destruct, uh, energy away to put on this CTP of regeneration. I obviously was not going to uh, delete it. And so I, I wanna know what, how much am I losing versus how much am I gaining? Uh, as far as the rest of his build goes, I have most things maxed out. I mean, of course, the crit rate and the crit damage are not gonna be maxed out. And I'm not gonna change his Urus, but that is what I would do if I were going full PVP. I would swap these crit rate Urus for more HP. Uh, the recovery rate is pretty close to the cap at 233 because his fourth gear is rolled recovery rate and I also have his uh, uniform at legendary with a recovery rate and HP roll here with a couple other stats here almost entirely defensive. So we're going to take a look first at his uh, abilities in PvP and then we're going to go and check out if he can still do PvE i.e. world boss ultimate gameplay. Uh, we're going ahead with this team here. This is kind of the maximum recovery rate and HP. We got 10% here with the debuff. We've got 30% from Victorious because of her 4 star passive Latvian Champion. So that is why Deadpool is rocking over 75,000 HP which is absolutely bonkers. Uh, and then just you know, to, to be kind of easy about it, we're going to go down the list of the top ranked Vibranium opponents. Presumably all of these players have extremely high builds and extremely high quality characters. So we should be getting very uh, aggressive competitive matches. And just, of course, to make it even more interesting, we are going to be doing autoplay only. Now, I've been watching him a little bit before I decided to uh, turn on the, the camera and start recording. And this is kind of... This is a bit of a microcosm of what you can expect. Uh, he can still get one-shotted, which honestly blows me away. Now, of course, you could have a better PvP uh, built uh, Deadpool. You could have, of course, 40% max HP on your cards, whereas I only have 10% or 9%. But fuck off. Get real. Uh, that shit's not going to happen, first of all. Second of all, yeah, of course, if you have a perfect character and, and your account is perfect... Then, then you could do better, of course, but that's not the point. The point is, I'm already approaching, you know, the top five or the top 1% of all Deadpools with a CTP of regeneration, with this entire build, you know, almost perfect recovery rate, crazy amounts of HP, a, a team with Wasp and, and Victorious that is perfectly designed around Deadpool. I don't even, I'm not even bringing other strong characters. I'm literally bringing everyone just to give Deadpool more juice. Um, and he's it's not even he's not even that good like yeah he just killed the other Deadpool who had almost as much HP so I'm assuming this guy has very good HP on his cards and, and sure an, an extra 20 or 30 percent would be nice but how the hell does Deadpool still die um, I don't know if this is just something that I haven't really been paying too much attention to there we won one uh, but I guess the the days of one character dominating PvP are kind of over and it's imp it's almost impossible to get a, a sweep i.e. an ace win with a single character, um, even if they're fully PvP built. And it's, it's kind of a shocker. Uh, perhaps the, the meta is just not very favorable to Deadpool. Perhaps Wolverine with the CTP of regeneration would be better. Um, perhaps slightly augmenting my type enhancement would help a little bit, but I don't think it will because that has to do with speed types versus blast types. And, and the majority of the problems that I'm seeing is against universals like Doctor Doom and, and Captain Marvel. Um, but he also even dies to himself, to, to which I can do nothing about that, which honestly blows my mind uh, that he actually dies to himself. So perhaps the CTP of regeneration, again, perhaps. This is, of course, not my final verdict, or this is not kind of uh, the word of law, but my early impression of, the, of this build right now is that it's not very good, and perhaps the CTP of regeneration is not as good as we thought. I mean... 
It's kind of sad because it was introduced at the same time as the CTP of Rage and you know you have to get type 6 enhancement for Captain Marvel just to to get it and of course I mean yeah I'm, I'm playing manual I'm playing on auto and I'm letting Deadpool basically get one shotted by Doctor Doom's uh, fifth skill which is is awful uh, and if I was e if I was playing on manual I would just easily walk away from it and take no damage I, I know this is not um, the most logical way of playing but man Doctor Doom doesn't have a uniform, he's not even tier 3, and I'm getting one-shotted by one... Well, I'm not getting one-shotted, but I'm getting killed by a single attack. I'm not even getting killed by a combo of attacks. It's not his third skill that has all defense down. Uh, you know, it's 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 kind of um, it's kind of painful to watch. So, I don't know if people have had better luck with, uh, with regeneration. Perhaps it's only useful for Alliance Tournament, which is honestly even, this, even sadder, because at best you get to use that a few times per week. I mean, I don't even really want to use CTPs of regeneration that much for, for timeline, and I get to play timeline 70 times per week. Uh, now, playing it just a couple of times per week as long as I continue to make a lines tournament, it just seems like such a it seems like such a damn waste. Um, and so, you know, I there's really nothing they can do to fix this other than just improving existing game modes uh, for PvP and, and giving more options and more opportunities to use characters. If there was some sort of game mode that was like Shadowland, that was a nice victory. If there was a game mode that was like Shadowland, uh, except it was PvP against other players, and it gave you similar rewards to Shadowland, stage 1 to 30, and if it had the same sort of uh, intensity and, and enjoyment as Shadowland, then that would be a good reason to sell CTPs of regeneration and to have them. But uh, the more that I watch this right now, I kind of feel like I got ripped off. Not only did I not get CTPs of Rage, uh, but holy shit, these, the, the, the ones that I did get that I thought were good kind of suck ass. It's just like, what the fuck is the point of this shit? Like, it's f completely fucking useless. He dies anyways. That was kind of, that was kind of a, a different situation because he had uh, Fracture stacked against him. There's not really much you can do against Strife if he stacks a lot of Fracture on you. That is kind of like a hard counter. Um, but I do want to face, you know, different enemies so you can see how it works because, you know, you're, you may never have a CTP of regeneration and now you, if you have one, you might not want to put it on Deadpool. Obviously, I could, I could approach a much higher win rate if I just played uh, manually versus, it seems like the exact same team, dude. If I played manually, yep, holy fucking shit, they're all the exact same team. Oh my god, this is such a joke. Sure. I don't know. It's it's literally like it's it's strife or Doctor Doom with Captain Marvel and Deadpool, and then one in five teams has Nova. But otherwise, it's exactly the same. All right, autoplay works, but not nothing play doesn't work. Uh, maybe if they improved the autoplay so that the uh, the AI would run away. I don't I don't know. I don't really know. I, I really think the only thing that's gonna do these CTPs justice at this point because they're not gonna get reworked. They're not going to buff the CTP of Regeneration. Um, it's already way better than the CTP of Refinement. Uh, but if they just had a, a better place for us to play PvP and for us to be able to, you know... People are happy when they get CTPs of Energy because you can use them in World Boss, you can use them in ABX, you can use them in Shadowland. There's there's three amazing places to use these, these CTPs. So yeah, you're spending, you know... 50, 100, 200, $300, $400, uh, but you're, you're getting something that you can enjoy every single day, multiple times per day, with multiple different characters. What the, what the hell am I going to do with this shit? I have 10 fights per day, and I still have to play them manually. At least the laziness factor could be considered. If, if Deadpool was this dominant with the CTP of regen, I could just be like, hey man, this is awesome. I can just auto-play my timeline. I don't have to worry about it. I can go, you know, get a coffee. I can go play something else or whatever, scratch my ass, but I can't even do that. I still have to play uh, manually. Now, I'll keep you guys abreast with how it goes in Alliance Tournament because I do have Deadpool set for my team and he does have a CTP of regen, so we're going to see how well he does. But, you know, even if we make it out of the first round, we're going to lose in the second round to Invictus probably, and if, and if by some miracle we don't lose then, we're probably going to lose in the next round. I don't mean to be too... Uh, kind of cynical and, and kind of grumpy about this, but it's just kind of annoying. It's just kind of annoying. I, I like guys, think about this. You you spend all this money, you got all these CTPs of regen, and I'm not asking you to be sad for me that I have them. That be just be annoyed that there's nowhere to use them. I don't even have characters to put them on, and I already have one on Strife and one on Deadpool. What what the hell am I gonna do? Um, however, 
There is a silver lining. Despite the fact that he doesn't have a damage proc, it appears that at least against Corvus, now I can't speak for Proxima, and that's probably going to take a bigger hit than Corvus, because I was up to stage 59 on Proxima. But for Corvus, it appears that Deadpool can still push up to stage 60, which is actually quite impressive. Now, I was going all the way up to 68, or sorry, 67 with Deadpool, and I was clearing it with like two minutes left. I'm pretty sure I'm in the top 100 for uh, Deadpool. Yeah. I'm in the top 100 with a CTP of energy, of course, uh, having rocked, you know, crazy scores with a suboptimal team. We can, we can get a lot better than this. Uh, I'm kind of just having fun with it. I'm not going too OP uh, just yet because I know he can easily push like 70, possibly 80 without even doing the Sharon Rogers White Fox combo. Uh, but he can't do that high, of course, without uh, a damage proc, without a CTP of energy, without the chain hit damage, uh, the ignore dodge. So we're bringing this team along... Uh, in this case, Nick Fury does give a very good uh, cooldown physical attack bonus on top of the bonus he gives uh, for all hero allies, which is a 55% increased damage against supervillains, a very, very good, basically the best buff in the game. I actually think the 35-35-10% is um, probably about as good because I don't have, I don't think I have capped attack speed, but we could actually use, we could actually do this one and get even more, but we'll actually do it like this, and then you can judge how well he does, and then you could imagine how much better it would be with a bit more all attack. It's only an extra 15%. It's not a crazy amount. Uh, in the in the case of Ancient One, she's there for the 25% ignore dodge, and then we've got four ignore dodge strikers to get over 100% because we don't have any from the obelisk anymore. And then of course, you guys all are very familiar with Scarlet Witch and what she does on the team. She's there for the mind control. Um, now it's it's a pretty leisurely. I mean, it's it's fun to play as Deadpool regardless. So. That, that part of it, I'm not too upset. Uh, it's nice to see the bars completely completely melt when you use uh, a CTP of, of energy and you hit that damage proc. You don't see that, that melting anymore. You don't really see the um, the rewards of your, your all defense down stacking as much. You see a, a bit of a bump now and then when you line up the uh, the, the three with the, the six and then you hit the five and the four. Uh, but a couple of things to note that I would that I would take into consideration to play a little bit differently is for one, I would, if, you, if you're not using a damage proc on Deadpool, definitely still, uh, after six, you should definitely do uh, one and then three, assuming you have the new uniform. But then just do four, and let four play out all the way to the end, because the damage on four is really good with the all defense down, and it actually provides a 1.7 second uh, paralyze, and the paralyze is actually really good for keeping um, Corvus from, from hitting you and doing kind of dumb stuff. So I actually do let the four play out the majority of the time, uh, and the damage is usually worthwhile for me. Um, but otherwise, it's it's a pretty uh, kind of smooth fight. He kind of just dies slowly. And it, this is going to take probably close to five minutes. So whereas I was clearing uh, 67 with... Um, oh, come on. Whereas I was clearing 67 with um, like a minute, a, two, a minute to two minutes, depending on my proc uh, accuracy with uh, his... CTP of energy, that's pretty much how much you're losing when you switch to a, a completely defensive build. Now, that's a huge loss, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think it's one that I could probably stomach for the meantime. Hopefully with Endgame, we do get some new PvP content um, to justify all these CTPs of regen. Otherwise, uh, they're probably just going to sit in my alliance or sit in my um, sit in my characters. There, there's a bit of a bump there from, from a nice all-defense down stack, combining with... Uh, uh, Scarlet Witch is all defense down, so it's it. You see a little bit more when you get her uh, all defense down in combination with your six skill and three skill and one skill all defense down. You got four, basically four different sources stacking that. Um, but if we don't get any kind of uh, renewal to the PvP formula, they're probably just going to sit in my inventory collecting dust. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Alliance Conquest. I know that's where a lot of people would suggest that I use it, but I don't really have the time. Who does have the time to play Alliance Conquest seriously? Uh, you, you know, I just... It's its not gonna its not gonna happen, guys. I spent enough time playing this game. Uh, so, yeah, it, it is a bit disappointing, but we'll see. Uh, maybe something will, will happen around the corner that kind of justifies these, these healing characters. Maybe he's just not meant for PvP, um, despite what we might think. And despite his strength, he still dies 
very quickly. But we're, we're there with uh, half the time remaining. The second half of this fight is a lot easier because his defense drops considerably, even though he goes up to 13 bars rather than just the 7. Uh, so this does become a little bit uh, faster. And I think we can take off like up to one bar uh, when we actually hit everything at the same time, which is nice. So we just need to stack that. We've been kind of... We haven't been that aggressive with stacking the proc. We haven't been canceling four that often. Usually you cancel four into five uh, to get that, that that proc built up faster. I don't know why he's all the way over there. Oh, and then he canceled my fifth skill. That's so fucking annoying, Jesus. Okay, so he canceled my fifth skill, so I lost all that damage. We actually might not even clear. But I just want to show you that he can definitely still do this, despite the fact that it's, uh, it's going to take a lot longer, and it's a lot less flashy. There's a lot less burst damage. There's a lot less kind of bars just melting off, which I know you guys love, and I love that too. Uh, but I mean, this is pretty nice. It's like half a bar. Uh, he feels more like Wolverine at this point, or any other normal tier three character who doesn't have, you know, insane amounts of all defense down, but he still gets it done. You can still see, like, that was like two bars. So when you get everything lined up, when you get um, procs, or when you get Scarlet Witch to, to, to hit him with the all defense down too, we're gonna get the stun here so that we interrupt that, the pillar attack. If you stun him when he's doing the pillar attack, he'll just move into the next phase. So it's an easy way of skipping the pillar phase where he summons the, the, the flaming pillars. Just hit him with any kind of stun uh, that affects world bosses, any kind of mind control, uh, and you will get uh, that time back, basically. And then you can skip that entire phase. Otherwise, you have to sit there dodging. It's kind of annoying. It wastes a lot of time. So we kind of gained back. We gained back the time we lost in a way. We're getting a lot of stuns here, but we're not building up the... Uh, tier three skill too much we have a minute left i think we can do it um we just got to see if we get some mind oh we did get mind control okay i think this is gonna hurt him a lot mm, yep 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 we've got another mind control there as well very nice oh we got another one wow uh, yeah you can see we're, we're quite close actually can we do it? 39 seconds, four bars, Deadpool struggling on stage 50 of Corvus. I call him Lagus at this point. Also, the f also you stay in the fourth skill because of the eye, because, because it's an iframe. So we got it. 26 seconds left, stage 60, pretty impressive. So you could probably do like a 61 with um, Nick Fury's leadership. Not bad at all. I actually wanted to play Proxima for the uh, the combat chant book chance but we didn't get that so he's still capable in pve it's just it's more of a lawn mowing affair where you're just kind of going back and forth cutting that grass i'm not too impressed with his pvp potential but ultimately it's up to you guys what do you think should i test it in 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 more situations is it just a bad week for pvp with a lot of kind of one-shot mechanics with characters like dr doom and captain marvel do we need to change that in general? I don't really know. I don't really have an answer for you guys this time around. I'm sort of 50-50 on whether this is even worth uh, rolling for as opposed to CTP of, of refinement at all. Or even those other obelisks that everyone was trying to get. You know, guard break immunity, recovery rate, four seconds, whatever. This kind of thing. Wait, which, which one is it? I got another one here. I rolled it today. There it is. Three seconds. I'm going to end up re-rolling it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Hit the likes on the other video if you can. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.